What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Magnus II of Norway and also the King of England. We're, we've been excommunicated. That is because we have, um, yeah, we have been antagonizing Pope Leo X because he basically revoked the beatification of our friend uh, Tosdik of, uh, well, Tosdik Godwinson. And so we were very unhappy about this and we, uh, yeah, we made ourselves known. And uh, that kind of led to an excommunication. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but uh, I, I went for it anyways. So we are now finally going to be crowned, hopefully. A marshal currently has nothing to do. Mm, training troops. How many men... Okay, I kind of need to train troops, don't I? I need these troops to be replenished. Let's do this. Let's train troops for now. In the capital. And, uh, yeah, we'll just move on forward. A court chaplain. Oh, yes! Bursts into your chambers, flanked by several warriors, dragging Count Swain of Osterslant with them in chains. My king, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this man. That is just what we've waited for. Wait, hold on. No! Fuck! It's not him! I thought it was this Count Swain. This is a different Swain. Aw, oh, man. <sighs> this bothers me. <sighs> I mean, fine, throw him in the dungeon. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not the person I wanted. Uh. Right. Well, whatever. That's very uh, that's very unfortunate. But oh well. Anyway, um, to the excellent King Magnus, I shall be honored to officiate His Majesty's coronation. Marvelous. That is great indeed. Now that I have found a Catholic priest, uh, I think a dignified ceremony is fine. I will have a private ceremony. We are humble. Um, we could go for and greedy. Uh, let's go for you know. Let's go for a private ceremony. That, that that's fine. Um, okay. So the time of incarnation draws near. Only a few more days before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. It will be a long wait with very little to do, but I hope at least that this period of seclusion will give me time to ponder upon my future responsibilities as king. It will never be soon enough. Okay. Very good. This morning, a curious visitor came to my court, a wandering scholar who traveled to San More after hearing news of my upcoming coronation. He claims that he has heard many tales of what a wise and virtuous ruler I am and wishes to put his knowledge to my service. Interesting. I have the feeling this guy is a heretic. Um, but you know what? Welcome. You know what? Why not? I can use some loyal servants. Sure. In fact, I'm going to immediately make you the court tutor here. Because apparently the old one died. So that's something. After growing increasingly hostile in the past few days, tonight the Bishop Magna officially stated his disappointment at my lack of hospitality, publicly berating me in front of my council and servants of how poor and secluded his coronation is. Okay. Well, that's that. The church is a greedy thing who always needs more arms, but I have deep pockets. Uh... That sucks that I'm giving money to the church, even though I've been excommunicated. But here is our coronation. In the empty hall of my palace, and after a quick blessing, the bishop summarily... Summar, summarily... The bishop summarily... Summarily... What is that word? I kneel before Bishop Magna in the empty hall of my palace, and after a quick blessing, the bishop... Summarily... I don't know what that means. But he places the crown upon my head, proclaiming me king of Norway by the grace of God. Okay, crowned by a bishop. Crowned in a barn. What? Come on. That's bullshit. Well, all right. Well, that's actually stupid. <laughs> so we've been crowned by a, in a barn. Okay, so definitely don't go for the cheapest option. Uh, even if you're humble, that's just not good. All right. I didn't know it would be that bad. I thought it would just, you know, be a private ceremony. Okay, next time I'm not going to be doing this. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't have expected it to be quite that bad. But oh well. There's a dangerous faction for the Duke Scofte of Norway. Yeah, like, can I do something? 
about you? Can you be imprisoned? No, not really. I can imprison Duke Morka though. Okay, we can also hold a grand tournament. That's maybe something I will do. Giving us some prestige, cost a bit of money. Tournament will begin soon. And our vassal levies will hopefully... Like, yeah, we'll have to wait for this to actually go down. So we can actually declare a war. For now, we just have to kind of stay around. Uh, being such an industrious ruler, we have not gone unnoticed by the population of Halogaland. By paying the country... County elders a personal visit, they would surely be inspired. Sure, let's visit the elders there. Okay, troublesome peasants. Still around. And I wonder if I can go for more retinue. No, I can't. I might understand more about money than I do about people, but that doesn't mean I couldn't use my extensive knowledge of my realm's economy to impress my wife. Send a detailed letter about the art of ruling a realm to Queen Cecilia using your stewardship education to try and sway her to your cause. I'm not sure if this is working. This is not the most, you know, romantic. I'll tell of my prosperous realm. <laughs> uh... I mean, sure. We'll share our knowledge of statesmanship with our wife. We'll see what she says. But there's a grand tournament for now. And... The Earl of Surrey has been maimed. That's unfortunate. Queen Cecilia's answer was cold and detached. I'm unsure whether she's simply uninterested in the subject or thinks I have poorly presented it. Yeah, obviously that was a waste of time. Why did we even do this? Why would she be attracted to someone talking about his management of realms? Anyway, another ghast ha has been killed. Augment has been killed. No, he's been maimed. Okay, more people are being killed, but it's just unimportant people. Wounded. Killed. Oh, wow. There's a lot of wounds. But yeah, Pope Leo thoroughly hates me by now. I think um, my work is done. Uh, we already excommunicated, so there's that. Now, Marcus Olsen. Oh, this is an interesting person. You want to come to my court? No. Okay. Well, third place for you. Good job. Athelwood the Hunter. You don't want to come to my court either. You're at court of Duke Morka. And who won? Rangveld the Hunter. You are at the... Court of the Earl of Lancaster. I guess you don't want to come to my court either? No. Alright. Well, a glorious event indeed. I hope that improves some relations. And yeah. We can go for some extra tech. That's good. Maybe tolerance, majesty, prestige gain, short reign years, noble customs. Let's do let's do this. Improve relations, and majesty can be improved too. Might as well go with religious customs then. And here I want to go for improved keeps, castle infrastructure, town infrastructure, church infrastructure. Okay, everything I guess. And military organization. Awesome. Okay, so how? what do my people... What do you guys say? Some of you actually like me. So it's not too bad. It's just a rival is a problem. Though of somewhat dubious providence, Count Swain has presented me with evidence that Count John is plotting against me. What? Well, that's obviously not... Cr Why would I trust you? You're my rival. I know you're just messing with me. I would love to imprison you so mad, so badly, if only I could. But you will be released for a small sum of money. Thank you. And I'm definitely not going to issue a declaration of repentance. It's not happening. Mysterious Jewish man has arrived at court. Oh, a spy master. Hmm. Can't really use him right now, but. It's something that I'll definitely want to keep in mind because it could be useful once we uh, maybe have a plot against this guy. In fact, let me see what kind of plots can I go for. Oh, wait. Ah, look at this guy. He's now a court chaplain. That should mean... An antipo was recently forcibly the... Po oh, that sucks. Hmm. But this guy is a prince bishop of Durham. I would love... 
um, for him to be an anti-pope. Let's make sure he's made our seneschal. And in fact, let's give out some more of the minor titles. We need to improve relations with, with our vassals here. Keeper of the Swans. Um, I think my cousin. He's already advisor and regent. Sure. Master of Horse will be the Duke of Lancaster. Actually, hmm. Maybe the Count of Telemark, why not? Master of Hunt, that will be Duke of Lancaster. And then Cupbearer, maybe one of these younger ones. The new Duke of Mercia, there you go. Maybe have a child be Cupbearer, that's okay. And then, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll trust you with troops. Buy a small plot of land, no, I will keep the money. Uh, I mean, I'll not sell off lands, it's not a good idea. Okay, some alliances are being formed. And I should probably invest some money here. Keep should be increased. Let's build that up. We'll upgrade this wherever we can. There you go. It's looking good. And maybe the castle town can be improved as well. For now, that I think this is fine. Um, Sure, support the carpenters. Last time we did this has worked out well. I'll do it again. Perhaps it's time I ask Queen Cecilia to spend time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain her trust. Sure. Let's see what she says. She's probably going to say no. Oh, no! Cecilia was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with her, I'm confident I can convince her of how alike we are and that she stands only to gain from our friendship. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. It was nice finally being with Cecilia for a while. Even though she's my wife, my duties as king often prevent me from spending enough time with my own family. Planning your visit filled, planning your visit filled me with purpose. Uh, I hope we can trust each other more now. I hope you liked your time here. She's softened. Uh, I think I want to go with the honest approach here. There you go. We'll see what she says. Apparently, oh no, she doesn't say anything about it. It just it worked. She's flattered and softened. Oh wow, very good. This might work out. Now I think uh, we're going to be starting to read a book here. Um, because I don't feel like we're hunting right now. The poetry book is really inspiring. I can feel creativity bursting through my body. Oh, very good. Aspiring poet. Nice. One of my vassals can be discouraged. Um, we'll obligate the vassal. And that worked. So he left the faction. If he even wasn't one, I don't know. Duke Edwin the Shadow. Of Somerset. He really dislikes us. Foreign Conqueror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ambitious people is always problematic. He's a renowned duelist. Hmm. Look at that. My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but whenever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Cool. I think, um, yeah, that's something we'll definitely go for. It will give us a little bit of diplomacy. Unfortunately, no attraction opinion. I thought that would kind of work too. But, um, oh well. Yeah, anyway. My wife is pregnant. Okay, so it did work. It did work. We're, f we're feeling a lot closer now. And I should probably, now that I think about this, I should probably nominate my son as successor to England as well. And we'll see if someone votes for him. It's possible. It's not unlikely. Well, well, it's unlikely, but it's not impossible. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, P council power should not be increased if I can avoid it. But yeah, so who's now being brought in? The Bishop of Beverly. Burn him then, I guess. He's actually a really great commander. Throw him to the dungeon. And what's this? I might... Okay. Uh, I think this didn't work that well. Tell of my prosperous realm? Maybe that works. We'll see. No, that was not good either. Probably should have just stopped it. But oh well. Another Jewish man has offered his services. Hmm. Why are there so many Jews coming to our court? Anyway, I'll let you rot. If you have enough money, you can actually ransom yourself. Yeah, there you go. I'm always greedy. 
And Magnus of East Anglia, you've been in the dungeon for 11 years. You can also ransom yourself. It's fine. And another son was born, Amund. Bjorn, I'll call him Bjorn. And I'll give you... I want you to be a commander. There, there we go. Duke Magnus. Oh, he shares our name. He's now been released. Got a claim on Essex and Kent. You can go for it. A little bit of infighting. I wouldn't mind that. My vassals would would indulge in that. Um, we've finished construction here. Let's improve this. Castle fortifications. I want our lands to be a little bit stronger. And we have the money for it, so might as well. Okay, so our dynasty seems to be secured somewhat. That is definitely good news. I like that Cecilia is so fertile. That's really helpful. Like, she's 28. She's already given birth to four children, so... You know, good job. Very good job. I wonder if she gets, like, a bonus for, like, successfully breeding children. She also has a strong claim on the Duchy of Normandy. Hmm. I mean, we have an alliance there. But good to know. Any other pacts we have? No. My nephew. We have a non-aggression pact with our nephew. Wait, no, we don't. We can form an alliance immediately. He's a genius. Cool. Actually, does that mean that... Yeah, my half-sister... She was married to the Count of Carrick. She can come to my court again. Princess Ragnald. She's not... Yeah, she's not given birth... She's not been married with this guy for long. So, you died 1077. You died 1077. Okay, yeah. In September? Wow, okay. And July. Okay, so they were not together for long. Awesome. Well, there is my half-sister, Ragnit, Harold's daughter. She's back. I wonder if I can marry her to maybe one of the... One of my uppity vassals. Someone who's very upset, but who's maybe young. Oh, there's a duchess. Hello. Um. No. There was one young. Dude, this one. 12 years old. Let's arrange a betrothal with you and my half-sister. No. Christina. Yeah, well, Christina is too high in a succession. I don't want that. Don't want any claims there. So... Ragnald, what can I who can I marry you to? I would love to get an alliance, but you're probably too old. That's unfortunate. Maybe one of my courtiers. Hmm. But uh, yeah, no, it's not really working. But my wife is pregnant again. Very, very nice. Okay, so that's awesome. A non-aggression pact with oh uh you know what Kagan Bolgar hmm he does have an interesting bloodline as well blood of Attila oh wow that's so cool children can prove themselves as mercenaries hmm um hmm Sure, why not? Let's have an on aggression bag. I don't mean to attack you anyways, so it's all good. Okay, and we can build more buildings. Improve the castle walls. Wherever we can. Keep barracks. And the keep can be improved. Okay. So I still have a thousand gold. That's, that's looking pretty good. The Duke of Somerset... Okay, this, my chancellor apparently is not that great. We'll keep the information. Actually, I probably could have. Uh, actually, he's not in a faction, so that's all good. But I should probably have forced him to stay out of them as well. Okay, we can write a letter to her to convince her of. Charm her with my elegant writing. Yes, finally, that's what we need. Finally, use our poetry. Come on, this should work. She should be charmed by this. What? Come on, she's not responded to it. Man. 
Well, I mean, at least we're still having sex, so, you know, that's good. That's the most important. Okay, our niece has gotten old up. We'll give her the intrigue focus, why not? And we still have that very powerful faction. A daughter was born. Cecilia. Yeah, we'll call her... Why not? Let's call her Cecilia. It's a bit, you know, maybe a bit overly romantic, but... After our loving wife. She's named after our loving wife. And you'll get the duty focus. Okay, so we definitely have a lot of children now. Two sons, two daughters. Feeling good about this. Uh, we're still excommunicated. I would love the anti-pope to be set up. Um, which is unfortunately not possible. I don't know how long this needs to, like... How long did we, we have to wait here? When this expires, maybe. Um... Infidel rebel victories? No. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. I don't really know. It, it doesn't show. But I definitely want to have an anti-pope here at some point. But uh, it's not going to happen this time. It will happen in the next episode. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.